Welcome back everyone to the Hello World Guide, this is episode number 5 of the Unreal Engine for Beginner series and in this video we are going to well, uh, move on with our game Bef and uh, I'm just going to do a quick recap of the last video in which we basically uh, learned about input and uh, created this uh, input system for our player basically and uh, now we are going to basically um, uh, add more stuff to our game to make it more interesting if you see right now if i hit play i can move around i can walk and i can jump and that's pretty awesome uh, and uh, this is interesting and uh, now obviously it is, it is not really fun at all to be like uh, being like alone in a game so we do need some other characters for example some enemies that are attacking us and we need to fight them and stuff like that so in order to do this what you we might uh, consider doing there are a bunch of things we can do actually so uh, what uh, one thing that we might consider doing is like adding an uh, so uh, let's consider adding a, another character that will basically chase us around that would be a good exercise so if i go under blueprints uh, here then i've only got our player and our game mode here i'm going to actually right click here and create a new blueprint class now this time we do want this to be a character but it won't be that uh, you know we won't select it in the game mode this character will be controlled on its own not by the player it will be controlled by ai so we are going to just select this character and i'm going to call this uh, like enemy okay now in here you can see that this does work but uh, uh, we have basically got this uh, we've basically got nothing to show us that this is the enemy so if i just drag this enemy inside then you can see it does appear but uh, we can't actually see it in the game so if i do go uh, to the correct place then uh, if i actually kind of manage to find him so uh, if uh, when i hit play i need to turn back and go here uh, somewhere here the enemy is standing and uh, we should be colliding with him if we actually manage to get to him yeah you can see that this is the enemy i am colliding with him i am pressing the w arrow key but i cannot move forward because this is the enemy here but we obviously can't see him so in order to fix that i'm going to just go ahead and add in a if now um, you might want to actually create like a full mesh here but uh, we are not going to do that we are going to just select this mesh and you can see in the skeletal mesh we have got like this default skeletal mesh mm, and uh, a bunch of other stuff now this is a skeletal mesh which is provided by default but we are going to just leave it as is and we are going to add in a mm, i'm just going to search for like a cap, uh, capsule because there is no cylinder uh, there is cylinder we are going to search for uh, cylinder because uh, we haven't got any capsule shape i'm going to add a cylinder and we're going to leave the cr uh, leave the skeletal mesh there because this is a static mesh we will get more to understanding the difference later but for now just leave this mesh and add in another cylinder and uh, then uh, you need to actually scale it so uh, i'm going to select this and then i'm going to um, select these two lines to select the bottom one and then i'm going to scale it which will basically decrease the radius so uh, if I do here, uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and change the radius to 0 0.6 uh, or 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 in here as well. Uh, that's a bit large. I think 0.6 is quite enough. Uh, by the way, you can obviously change the capsule as well if you want to change the size of that. And I'm going to increase its size on the Z axis uh, as well to make it kind of, you know, tall. Uh, so if I go in here, you can see that this uh, in the bottom, it's not exactly like uh, right. So I'm going to just actually 1.75 and uh, I think that is a pretty good uh, value. So I'm going to just uh, select it and make it 1.8 maybe, I guess, after all. Uh, that, that makes a bit more sense. Mm, 7, 8. Yeah, you can just basically fine tune it to whatever value you like and... Uh, I'm going to keep it at one point like seven six, and this looks pretty awesome. And uh, I'm going to increase uh, the uh, radius to one zero point six five. Uh, and this looks uh, this looks kind of awesome. And I'm going to go under the capsule collision, and you can decrease the radius as well if you want to. Uh, and now the radius is practically perfect at thirty three. So if I hit play now, you can see that this is our enemy standing, and uh, we can't go through him. Amazing, but uh, you can see it's a bit of a problem. That's because we can get too close, which uh, is something that we don't actually want. So uh, it will be better if we just go ahead and uh, uh, you know select our castle component and increase its uh, radius back to what it was originally, so that uh, uh, we are kind of uh, away from it. But still, uh, you can kind of see through him. That is because of clipping. 
clipping is basically like uh, actually you know seeing through objects when you need to and uh, this can uh, this can occur quite often then often and you don't want a uh, this kind of clipping in a first person game or else you are uh, like if you have got a gun it, then it won't show uh, so in order to fix this problem all you need to do is go under project settings and then you can just basically search here for clipping uh, if you uh, and you can see we have got this near clip paint now this is set to 10 which happens to be an extremely large value something like 0.1 will be enough and uh, now we cannot like uh, we can still go through him uh, never mind and if i set it to 0 0.01 then i doubt that we should be able to go through him and we can still can like if you make it really small like 0 point, uh, point 0.001 then it would be way too small i guess it could cause problem but uh, yeah basically uh, you don't want something that small uh, but our, uh, the problem another problem is that our player can go too close just move his uh, camera back a bit and now it should work yeah that looks pretty awesome and now you can set this to 0 0.01 back again you cannot set this to zero that will cause visual problems the clipping value needs to be something and i would recommend setting it to 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 and uh, like setting it to like absolute zero uh, will cause problems currently it does not seem to but if you like re open unreal engine it should start to cause problems so now basically we have got an enemy in our game that currently just sits there and does nothing so now it's time to add more stuff to our enemy so yeah this is uh, uh, so that I, basically uh, I think it would be worthy now to tell you that I basically got uh, a the idea for an extremely simple game here in which the enemy chases you around and you have to kind of avoid them uh, enemies there are multiple enemies and you kind of avoid them and kill them so yeah that's our idea and if you have got some uh, thing to change then you can tell me uh, and for now I'm going to add in a cube here now why am I adding a cube here because uh, we want to uh, because we can currently have got no idea of the direction our enemy is facing inside of the game so uh, so uh, you know mm, uh, I'm going to actually put a cube in the uh, forward x-axis that uh, kind of shows us where our enemy is facing so now you see uh, it's uh, basically showing us the direction our uh, direction our enemy is currently facing which is uh, pretty awesome exactly what we want so yeah that, that's awesome and uh, now I think it uh, uh, looks pretty uh, pretty good but uh, but the problem here is that our enemy the whole enemy is basically white which is something that we don't actually want so now we are going to get into materials and uh, uh, see how materials work and how are we going to use them uh, by the way if you uh, if I'm going to select this cube and then I'm going to go down here in the collision and then I'm going to change uh, and b if you select this then basically our cube is colliding this cube while we it's uh, really small and insignificant we don't want it to make a difference so I'm going to just go under mm, select cube go under the details panel under collision change this preset to uh, no collision and that should prevent any collision and uh, uh, with the actual cube and uh, we are only colliding with the uh, actual cylinder now so yeah that's awesome and now we are going to actually change the color so uh, materials uh, if you remember then if we go to starter content then you can see there are a lot of materials here now what these materials are well a material is basically like uh, something mm, you know a material is basically like defines what a surface actually looks like so you know we have got a mesh that defines the shape of the surface and then a material that actually defines what the surface uh, looks like so mm, uh, we have got bunch come with a bunch of different materials in the starter content for example if i apply this brick new then you can see we have got some interesting brick design on our floor so by the way to apply mm, uh, a material to a static mesh you can just drag it onto it like this and that looks awesome as well or you can do it like this which <laughs> is kind of weird and you can like uh, add this or you can add a bit like a white thing or you can add this f floor material or you can just basically add like this moss even so yeah that that looks uh, kind of uh, weird a bit uh, like uh, these starter content materials are kind of nice but they are not like super high quality ones and we have also got this cool hex style material which kind of changes color as it goes along and this material is pretty cool so we are going to keep it for our floor but uh, that uh, and you by the way there is another variation that does not like shine and it uh, looks like this but we are going to keep the uh, uh, pulsing tiles here uh, and uh, by the way in the now we do not obviously want to use uh, this kind of material for our actual character we uh, like you could apply this uh, technically not here you need to open up the blueprint to apply that but we are we want a different kind of material we want a plain material for this that we currently don't have in the start content so for that i'm going to create a new materials uh, folder in here and in here we are going to create our new material 
So right click, just choose material and you can label it anything you like. I'm going to call it enemy material. Uh, or you can basically label it enemy mat short for material. I'm going to create another material co uh, called uh, I guess well let's don't do it right now. Let's just delete this. Let's open up enemy mat and you can see that this basically has got nothing on it and it looks like this. So this is the material preview. Now as soon as you double click, you should uh, see this window which uh, basically is the material editor. In here, this is the material preview. This is the details panel which contains details for the material right now and. Uh, uh, if you select a node, it will show details for that node. This is the palette where you can select all of the different nodes that a material editor has to off uh, offer. And this is basically like the blueprint editor in the interface, uh, but except the fact that uh, you are not actually doing functionality, you are making materials. So in here, you can see we have got a bunch of properties in the mater main material node, and one of them is base color. This is the one we need to modify. Just drag it out and go and, and choose constant three vector now a three vector basically means that our color has got three components a, a a red a blue and a green and why is that important because uh, that's basically but mm, uh, because you know for colors you will normally use a vector three vector uh, a constant three vector and uh, sometimes you will use different ones so if you click double click on this one you should get a color picker and you can change the color to whatever you like here by like dragging these things around and um, the same color is going to pop up uh, on this here so it's uh, kind of compiling the material right now and once it does that you can see it shows up here now we want i now what i am going for is a slightly bluish color not too much just slightly and like this so uh, i think this looks uh, pretty cool and i'm going to make it a bit more saturated it's way less saturated right now so if i increase the saturation here uh, that looks uh, like this and if I if you like look at that uh, look at actual color then this is what it looks like I'm going to increase the saturation further to this and I'm going to maybe a little bit like that 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 is pretty cool so I'm going to save it as that and uh, uh, it takes a bit of time to actually like you know <laughs> handle everything and now you can see it looks like this but it currently feels like plastic in order to fix that we need to add stuff to our metallic and roughness parameters currently you don't need to worry about any of the other ones just metallic and reference uh, would be fine and in here uh, for the metallic you can just add a constant just a constant which is a scalar value nothing special and i'm going to do the same for roughness for the roughness i'm going to turn that up to one and for the metallic that's going to be zero so this is not metal and it's not rough either which means it's basically like uh, uh, chalk so the surface it will be like chalk it won't be shiny at all like this uh, which is the surface that I am going for you can obviously set whatever you like here I'm going to go out now and I'm going to paste the enemy mat into a new one and rename that to enemy uh, eyes mat I guess and I'm going to open up this then I'm going to go under the color and make the color a lot darker uh, for the eyes so like almost black but almost black not exactly black then I'm going to do that and uh, once you have done everything you need to apply both of the materials so just click on apply and wait for it to actually do everything it shouldn't take that long and uh, do it on both of the materials or, or else you, it won't show in the actual editor and by copying we have got everything here oh, actually we have not uh, we forgot to save the material after adding the metallic and roughness so it uh, hasn't got that we are going to just copy those nodes over and then we are going to connect them correctly so this basically makes both materials the same except that the second one is a darker color now we can apply this to our enemy and uh, uh, I'm going to go uh, if you select the cylinder you can see we have got materials here change this from basic shape material to our enemy material just search for enemy mat and select that and then I'm going to go under cube and uh, select this to be enemy eyes mat and this is what it looks like so if I hit play now you can see this is our floor looks like and this is what our enemy looks like and we got to admit everything looks a lot nicer now I'm going to make the cube a bit outer uh, out so that uh, it stands out kind of a little bit and you can see that that looks pretty awesome we have got our enemy we have got a nice floor and everything is working so yeah this is pretty much it for this video in this video we created an enemy and uh, learned about a bit about you know actually like uh, building something up from basic shapes and then we learned about materials and added them to our enemy so yeah this is a pretty nice uh, look i guess and uh, Mm, uh, this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we will make our enemy chases around so make sure to uh, stay tuned for that and like and subscribe and also share this video with other people and bye